there are very few of us left that buy physical media. I think the people that do buy physical media nowadays are collectors of sort and people around my age. I think we just grew up with it with changing tapes, changing VHS, changing your cassettes, changing a disc. It's just never been a thing or a problem. Now, when the convenience of digital came along, a lot of people have bought into it. And it's only in recent years that people have come to the come to know the fact that when you buy something digitally, you don't even own the bloody thing. It's not yours. You've bought a license to rent it for as long as they can use it. Which is bollocks. If you buy something and it says on the thing, buy to own, you should own it. So over the last year, we've got a few little instances sneaking in where these stores and these streaming sites, uh, these gaming stores are removing li like little items, tiny bit by bit, and you just, you know, it's gone forever. You can't get it anymore. Uh, only not so long ago, I think PS5 uh, got rid of uh, the Discovery uh, purchases for most of the PS5 owners. Um, they started getting rid of games on Steam and other places which you just can't get anymore which is kind of a loss to the world of gaming and I think it's a piss take for the world of streaming I think if you buy summer you should own it me personally I think everything should come with a receipt and a code and that code should be able to be carried across wherever so you own that item that item should come with its own code and then you should just own it but or some kind of thing like that but apparently you don't so then i was just reading the news and i've come across this which i just think is atrocious and it's it, it's one of the things i worry about the most so apparently ps5 owners lose access to hundreds of games as digital purchases wipe from their account uh, apparently a strange bug is removing people's games on playstation 4 and 5 and vita and sony doesn't have a fix it wasn't that long ago playstation sparked fan outrage when it said it would remove discovery video content from people's libraries even though they had paid for it that's what was on about bef before uh, they removed all the libraries but, oh apparently play to playstation backtracked but a similar unintentional issue has now come up a random bug that's wiping digital games from people's libraries a bug is affecting playstation 4 and 5 ps vita and fans are certainly not happy about it well why would they be imagine if you've got a library of like say if you look in my library my digital library full of cheap old games that i've got over 20 years on my xbox so at least six seven hundred god only knows what that imagine now that's nothing compared to how many physical discs i've got but can you imagine how much that adds up to really and you say something silly and you get suspended or you get banned from there and you just lose all your stuff so if you say the wrong word by accident but you get banned there's no coming back from it you 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 ring you ring them you tell you well, oh we can't go back on it you, you, you're permanently banned so that one word costs you three, four thousand pound. What? You can just take it, but you don't own it. So they can take it. Fuck off. Uh, so at least 50 PlayStation owners have reported that their digital games are going missing. One affected by the bug went on Reddit to explain what's going on and that, to vent their frustration that they can no longer access some of their games in a post that has attracted others with the same problem said for the last few months there has been a bug impacting a relatively small amount of playstation network users users in which all digital licenses including purchase games and titles added to one's library via playstation plus become decoupled from your transaction history which shows you purchased those things now i've had this happen to me before with a few games i didn't really care about uh, when I got them with Xbox Live Gold on the Xbox 360 so you apparently owned them but you don't 
uh, and they just got taken away and then it started saying I had to purchase them again they just disappeared and there was nothing I could do about it because I didn't buy them so I didn't care but the fact that they took them away in the first place even though I'd got them on Xbox Live Gold I'd never ended my subscription so I just didn't understand it but it bothered me a little bit at the time because I was like well oh, why but you know they're in charge aren't they the bug wipes games from your account and to make it worse dsuds adds that if you're affected by the bug you can't re-download re the missing games as your playstation account won't let you i'm never buying a digital game again from playstation again horrible customer support and terrible practices towards their customers i don't need to read the rest because we all get the gist of what's happening here there's a bug but if playstation can't fix a simple bug and it's getting rid of all your games and you've spent three two even 500 quid who cares what their number is so you spent a lot of money on games and you can't get them games that's just fucking ridiculous and playstation needs to book their ideas up the same with xbox i'm sure if it happened to steam it'd be the same with steam but keep your receipts you do get them they do send them you in a by an email uh i think it's ridiculous but this is why i just i'll just listen if i said it once i'll say it a million times buy physical media i know it's convenient i know it's convenient to buy digital stuff i get it because as i said i sometimes if i own a game on physical and it comes up really cheap on digital I will buy it on digital just to save my physical copy so it don't get worn and torn I've always got it it's nice and new and if I ever need it when the internet goes down I've got it so buy physical if you if you see a game cheap pick it up if you see a movie blu-rays buy them it's up to us to change the way that they because this they've already got what rid of one whole one whole system of commerce which was basically the second hand market they've already wiped that out so the amount of money that people have lost and businesses that have gone under just for that how many businesses have gone under just because they can't there's no but they just don't sell games anymore game went under games closed down in in most of the uk it's hard to find physical you, usually you just have to use amazon and they'll probably get rid of them soon so the only thing I can say is buy physical media, save yourself the hassle, you'll always own it. If you lose your account, you set up a new one, you've still got them games. It's as simple as that. If you lose your account, you've still got them movies. You can also watch them movies on things that don't have to have an account, i.e. a normal in Blu-ray player. So yeah, absolute bollocks. What do you think? Like and subscribe, leave your comments, tell me how, how much bullshit this is. And uh, I will see you in the next one.